Today we're going to review the new features that are included in the version 4 release of NRS's Home Inspection Reporting software. They're grouped into three capabilities. The first is the ability to accept online invoice payment. The second is the ability to customize your inspection for any unique requirements. And lastly, we are always striving to make reporting a much easier task for all of our customers. So let's start with online invoice payment. <coughs> So in the current scenario, let's say you've done the inspection report, you've sent it off to the client, and you've attached the invoice. The next step for you really is to wait. And let's face it, collecting outstanding invoices isn't exactly the fun part of home inspection. What if, you, what if your clients could pay online via credit or debit cards? What if there was a link in the invoice that took the customer directly to your online payment webpage? What if you could accept payment immediately on site right after the inspection is done using a mobile app? Well, now you can. NRS has partnered with Stripe, the leading online payments provider, to accept online payments via credit or debit card. So now using the mobile app, you can accept payment immediately on site after the inspection. You can accept payment over the phone using NRS's Stripe integration and the payment web page. Or your clients can simply click on the payment link in the invoice and make the payment directly themselves. So this is really cool. So how does this happen? Well, let's take a look at how to enable online payment. The place to start is at the dashboard and you click on settings. And then when you're interested in the settings page, you'll click on customer invoicing. And now you'll see here, there's a new section called Collect Online Payments. And this feature can be enabled anytime. And all you've got to do is click on the button here called Connect with Stripe. And this will take us to the Stripe page, where I'll enter in my email address and then the password. Oops. And we'll log in. Now they're going to send me a two-factor authentication code to verify it's me. And this is for your own safety. And uh, so here we go. It takes about a second for it to show up on your phone. Right. And then we'll be in. And we're going to create a new business so you guys can see how this goes. Um, so the first thing is to tell them a little bit about your business. So. Um, I'm not really going to fill any of this stuff out. Here's just some fake addresses I've made. And we'll go on to the next page. And this is a little bit about yourself. So you've got to... Uh, fill... I've got so many email addresses. And let's just put in a fake date of birth. I'm not going to put in that. This part is optional. So now we filling out some information about your business. So uh, first we have to select the industry. And now there really isn't any um, classification here for building inspection. So you'll choose building services and then just choose other building services. And in here, we'll put in the website. So I'm just going to put in nrs.ca. And in here, you can say what you do. So home inspections. And now we'll be setting up the account for the payouts. So for this page, you will have to have some information ready. So you'll be choosing the currency, whether you're, this one is Canadian because we're in Canada. But you'll also need some banking information regarding the account into which you want your money deposited. So this is easily available uh, from your banking institution, usually on the bottom of your check or online. You can find the transit number. The transit number is usually a five digit number and it's at the very front. Then you'll need the three digit institution number and also the account number. So this is the account into which uh, Stripe will be depositing all of your money. So I'm not going to fill this out for the purpose of the demonstration. We're just going to use a test account. So now everything is done with the account information. The last thing we need to do 
is uh, the statement. So what's going to show up on the, uh, the client's statement for their credit card? So it'll say anaris.ca that uh, was billed, uh, who the, the vendor was. And then we can provide a small description. So this space is kind of limited. Um, you don't really get a lot to put in here. So it'll say inspection. Um, and just plug in your support phone number. And I think we're done. There we go. So I'm going to just review your details to make sure everything is correct. Um, there we go. We're going to submit. And our account is successfully linked. So now that we've linked our account to uh, the Stripe integration, let's go ahead and create an invoice. Um, before we create an invoice, let's just go and check to make sure that our integration is up and running. There you go. So once you've connected, this is what uh, your um, settings page will look like. So now you actually have the ability to collect uh, the payment or invoice collection online. So let's go ahead and create an invoice so we can uh, demonstrate how to collect those payments. So we'll go into a report. So this is the report that we've got. And now we want to invoice this customer. So we'll get down to client invoicing, say create an invoice. So it's gonna be a single family home inspection. You can actually add custom line items in here if you wanted to, like uh, if it was additional items like you did mold inspection or you know some other specific types of inspections that you charge additional for. So you can have more than one line item in the invoice itself. So for the demonstration, we're just gonna have the one and so we're going to save that. And so now the invoice has been created and you can now send that to them via email. You'll send that to them and we'll show you how that works. Or you can collect uh, the payment now over the phone. So that's how you create an invoice. So now that we've created the invoice, <clears throat> we'll, we can start collecting on it. I'm going to show you the three ways to do that over the phone, using the link in the invoice, and on site using the NRS mobile app. So the first one is <clears throat> over the phone. So if the customer calls and says, hey, I'd like to pay my invoice, you can do that directly from within the report. Go to the invoice section and says collect now. So click on the button that says collect now. And this will take you to the online invoice uh, payment page. So here it is, uh, this is your Stripe integration. So over the phone, you can either, the customer has the option to either pay with GPay or pay with a credit card. So most people will pay with a credit card. So the information you'll need is their email, their credit card number, the expiry date, and the CVC code that's usually a three digit code on the back. Um, the correct name on the card, the country or region, and then the postal or zip code. And then you just hit pay and you've collected the invoice immediately. And that's all there is to it. So that was how to take uh, the payment uh, over the phone. Um, you can open up the, uh, uh, the invoice and, um, and accept payment over the phone from your client. Um, you can also email them the invoice and send that off. And then, so once they've received the invoice, they're able to click on the link within the invoice and uh, make the payment themselves. So let's just go over to our email and there you see, there's the, the invoice and there's a link right here and you just click on pay this invoice and the customer enters in their information and pays their invoice. So let's say you're at the job site, you reviewed the report with the client and they're happy with it and now you'd like to get paid. Well, with the mobile app, it's quite easy because you would just go in here, scroll down to the demo report that you've just shown, skip, go down to the invoice, client invoice, click now, and there you are, there's the mobile screen for uh, the Stripe checkout. 
Um, you simply plug in the information and hit pay. And again, you just settle the account. So that's the third way of taking payment. So this first feature that we're releasing is really about the ability for you to get paid instantly. And we mean instantly on site using the mobile app, over the phone, or your client can click on the payment link in the invoice and make the payment themselves. The next feature we're going to review is the ability to customize your inspection. At NRS, we feel the, the inspection services that you provide should not be limited by the limitations of your current reporting software or the report template that you happen to be using. We want you to stand out from the crowd by being able to customize your inspections to your client's expectations and their needs and also the unique uh, features of the inspection site itself. And so one of the things that we've done is we've provided you now with a feature that allows you to create custom inspection items and also to customize the order of those inspection items. To customize the inspection, let's go into the report that we'll be using. So our purpose is I'm going to go into the demo report. You pick the inspection section that you would like to customize. So let's go into interior. And for this ex example, um, we're going to look at bathroom cabinets and bathroom counters. So the house that we've got actually has more than one bathroom. So I'd like to add an additional set of inspection items for bathroom cabinets and bathroom counters. So to do that, we simply click on add items and you'll notice that it's just added a line item here called custom interior item. So we need to rename that. So we'll click on edit and remove Then we'll click on the rename button and let's rename this as bathroom cabinets and we'll signify that it's in the master ensuite and we'll save changes and now we also want to add bathroom counters so let's add another item and we'll rename this one as well and when you do this uh, you'll notice that it it auto fills this so really all i have to do is change this to counters master on so save the changes and now you can also um customize where the in where the order uh what the order of the inspection items are so because we want to keep all the bathroom items together what we'll do is we'll move this up to bathroom counter or bathroom cabinets and we'll move this one just below the other bathroom counters so that we've got everything grouped together and make sure you hit done and then lastly before you need to save so there you go so there you go that's how you create custom inspection items and you can also customize the order in which you are um, going to do these inspections oh and we need to enable this as well and that's it so the next uh, set of uh, features that we introduce are all about making reporting easier. And the first new capability is the ability to allow you to create custom recommended actions and then customize the color of the label for that recommended action. To create custom recommended actions uh, from the dashboard, you click on settings and then you go to report setup. And as you scroll down, you'll see the section labeled recommended action settings. So to create a new action setting, simply there's a blank one here. So you simply click on enable and that will open up a new action and that you can then customize. So let's say we're gonna call this maintenance is required. And you can also customize the color of the label. So if it's something that needs immediate action, you wanna label it red or if it's not so urgent, green, and then you've got several shades in between and you can assign urgency to each one of them. Um, each action can also have an extended action. So it could be the timeline. So let's say, what is the maintenance timeline? And that's what we'll set up. And then you save, okay. And that's it. So now the next time this will be included in your report. The next feature that uh, makes reporting easier 
is the ability to edit and manage the comment library. We hear from our customers that one of the features they really like that saves them so much time in creating reports is the comment library. The ability to create custom uh, observations or comments, have those saved within the template so it can be reused over and over again. At the same time, one of the complaints we have from our customers is that the comment library can become fairly large and some of these custom items or comments were specific to a site and those conditions may not occur again. And so how do they clean up that comment library and uh, keep it to the relevant uh, comments and observations? So I'm going to show you a really quick way uh, to manage your comment library. So let's just go to from the dashboard, we're going to go to templates and we'll choose the template that we want to uh, edit. So we'll choose the NRS template, click view edit. And for the demo purposes, I'm going to choose exterior and just go down to vegetation. And uh, under conditions, you'll see that I had a comment that was unable to assess condition of trees on northeast corner, suggest having an arborist take a look to provide remedial action. Well, that was specific to one inspection, and I'm not sure I'm going to need this, so I don't really want it here anymore. So how do I how do I take that out? How do I delete that? Okay, so that's quite easily done. We just go down to the bottom, and we click on Edit and Remove. We'll go back up to Vegetation. Click on Vegetation. And here are the conditions. And now you see this button that says Edit List. So we'll click on Edit List. And it gives you all of the uh, comments or conditions that you've got for this item here. And now we've got this here and we simply hit remove and it's gone. And that it's as simple as that to, um, to be able to either edit the description here or to remove uh, comments that you no longer need. You just simply close that up. And then before you leave, make sure that you hit done customizing and save the changes that you've just made. And that's it. That's how easy it is now to uh, edit the comment library. So to recap, um, we now you now have the ability to customize your inspections and stand out from the crowd by being able to create custom inspection items. You can now generate in-depth detail reports in less time by having being able to create custom recommended actions and assigning custom label colors to them and to be able to edit and manage the comment library much more easily. That's it for today's review. Um, if you have any questions, uh, would you like more information, or you'd like to schedule a demo, uh, visit our website at www.nrs.ca or give us a call uh, toll-free at one 500 504 and we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.